On August 24, a netizen named Shaoi hopes the bad guys will be punished posted a long message, claiming that she was sexually assaulted by the Hunan satellite TV host Xian Feng. She said, although it has been more than two years, she has been living in a nightmare, and only now has the courage to expose it. Shaoi said that she is a southern girl born in the 90s, and has been engaged in TV performance-related work after graduation. In 2018, she was invited to participate in the recording of Hunan TV program Day Day Up. During the entire rehearsal recording, she did not have any contact with the host Xian Feng. But at the end of the recording, a staff member contacted Shaoi and said that a host wanted to get to know her. At that time, she was a newcomer who just entered the TV performance industry, so she agreed in good faith but it turned out that this was the beginning of the nightmare. After she and Xian Feng became friends on WeChat, Xian Feng invited her out for dinner many times, but she had already returned to Shanghai at that time, so they were unable to meet. But on February 14, 2019, Xian Feng took few of his friends to Shanghai and had dinner with Xiaoyi in a pub near Vujiaochong. During the meeting, Qian Feng persuaded her to drink a lot of wine. She said, after drinking few cups of fruit wine with low alcohol content, she felt dizzy and uncomfortable, so she suspected that she had been drugged. After this, Qian Feng proposed to go to KTV, she said she was unconscious and can't remember what happened later. When she woke up, she was already lying on Qian Feng's bed and Qian Feng was lying beside her. She said Qian Feng even reassured her saying that he used condom. After the relationship, Xiaoyi went home in a muddle-headed manner. It was not until the grandmother reminded that Xiaoyi found that her clothes had also been torn by Qian Feng. After returning home, she contacted the taxi driver that day. The driver said that she tried her best to prevent Qian Feng from touching her, but Qian Feng dragged the girl out of the car. Later, she went to Qian Feng's community and asked guards to let her watch the CCTV footage on the pretext of losing some things. After monitoring, she found that she was completely delirious and incapacitated that night, and was dragged into the hotel room by Qian Feng. Later, she questioned Qian Feng, accusing him of forcibly having a sex with her without her consent. Qian Feng immediately sent her money and apologized, and said that he really wanted to fall in love with her. However, she didn't believe him and directly called the police. Police did medical examination on her and concluded that she had injuries from the sexual assault. When she asked the police, the police called the two to the police station to investigate. She said that, in front of the police station, Xian Feng knelt down and begged her to withdraw but she refused hoping that the bad guys would be punished by law. However, after she finished the transcript, police never took the case further. In the past two years, she was emotionally depressed and committed suicide and suffered from deep depression. However, she said Qian Feng remained unaffected, still hosting the popular show and even signed Hunan Satellite TV's letter of commitment just a week ago. She said that she couldn't accept it, and consulted with a friend who is engaged in legal work. After reading the evidence, the other party said that this is definitely a strong case and it is not clear why the police did not file a case in the past and persuaded her to stand up and make Qian Feng be punished. Now she bravely opened the wound, told what happened to the public and said that Qian Feng was too calm after the incident and suspected that the victim was not the only one and hoped that everyone would stand up. She also emphasized that she is legally responsible for every word she says and she has all the audio, video and text evidence on her hand and will actively cooperate with all investigations. Hunan Satellite TV responded immediately and said that they will actively cooperate with the investigation of relevant departments, and suspend all of Qian Feng's activities before the conclusion is reached. Afterwards, Xiaoyi also shared CCTV footage in order to prove her words. In the video, she was dragged by the man suspected of Qian Feng and staggered and fell as soon as she got out of the elevator. In another video, she couldn't stand up for a while, fell to her knees, and was dragged up by the man suspected of Qian Feng. Then the man suspected of Qian Feng opened the door next to her, and pushed her into the room. During the process, she even pressed her foot against the door, showing her resistance. 